Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today um, we're doing another episode of the coloured solar system so this could or could not be the last episode you guys tell me like what more colours could I do so yeah leave them down below but yeah we're doing grey today since that's literally the only colour I can think of um, that's left so let's get into this but before we start I actually found literally only just found this there's an interesting setting in the music here if we just reset the or go back to track one here as you can see if we do this on this music parameters, it changes the music. As you can see, it sounds a lot better, I think. Like, just listen to this, it's nice. Like, that's before and then this is after. And that adds that little bit of extra sound into the music. It's, I like it. I'm, I'm gonna leave this setting on for a bit. Or maybe, maybe I'll leave it on permanently, because I do like this. So I haven't heard it in all of the tracks before, but yeah, I, I like this. This music is cool. And this desired tension thing, I, I, I have no idea what it means. But yeah, there we go. So yeah, here's the pink system from last week, as you should remember. Or last episode, I mean, I, I don't think it was a week ago, but yeah, there we go. So let's go and start with a new simulation. So gray. So we could do, we can't really do a gray star, but the closest we can do for this is white as well. So what star should we use today? Could try Polaris and then heat it up a little bit. Polaris B, white, ye yellowish white star. I think we've used this one before. Oh, what's this? Carbon white dwarf. Could use a white dwarf actually. Let's use this one, Denebola. I don't think I've ever used this before, so let's use that one. Okay, it's more of a bluish star, but we can just lower the color. We we just lower the temperature. It will change the color to white. So there you go. That's pretty much the closest we can get to gray. So we'll leave it like that. Then let's have a second star. So Algo, I guess this is a lot bigger. So, right, we have that in a binary system. Have it. Let's have it quite far out as well. Let's do a 11 AU gap, pretty much. Let's have it there. Let's also enable orbits so we can actually see everything. So there's our binary system of blue stars there. Right. Okay, they're looking good. Right. Should we have a third star? Hmm. And where's that one gone? Um. WB, what is this? This has a mass of 700 Jupiter, so we can make this orbit one of these guys, I'm hoping. Oh, that makes it a very mucked up system. Okay, no, we can't use that, sadly. Actually, we could mess with the orbits, I guess. No, I don't want to. No, no, we'll just use two. I think I think that's fine. Let's also have the orbit a little higher, so let's do this. Oh, no, no, don't do that. Yes, like that. Also, guys, many, many thanks to all the subscribers and stuff. I just thought about it. We're halfway to 1,400 already, and it's not even November yet. Like, this is insane. Yeah, cannot thank everyone enough. Yeah, just thought I'd throw that out there because I forgot to say it in the intro. But, yeah, yes, many, many thanks. You, you guys are awesome. Like, we're growing so much faster than we used to. It's insanely awesome. Like, can't cannot think you're a guff, and it's an absolute pleasure that um, you guys are watching my content and stuff. So, yeah, can't thank you enough for that. Anyways... Right, let's actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's get the grey background up as well. So, let's get grey. So it's just simply going to be these colours here, like, that's it. That's grey. We could increase the brightness, I guess, maybe. Make it a little brighter. And then we'll change the base colour as well here. So let's put you to a sort of greyish colour. The matte ambient colour, we'll put that to grey as well. We'll increase the ambient brightness a bit. Just so it makes stuff really glow. So yeah, that, that is definitely grey. A lot less, or a lot darker than the white solar system was. So that's the difference. Alright, so. Let's go with our first planet. Now I definitely know I have a grey planet. Yeah, this one here called Dark. Yeah, I'm creative with names. I'm sorry. but Yeah, I just called this gas giant Dark. And it simply is quite a dark coloured gas giant. So, oh yeah, I was originally planning. Oh, I, I should still do it actually. I was, um planning to make this like the darkest planet ever discovered like make it the, the same size as that i just never got around to doing it so i should get back on it and make this the darkest planet ever discovered all right so yeah all oh, that music is really different you just heard that wow all right so let's make it quite large wow that the music sounds so different it's like a new game almost so that's, that's awesome uh, let's increase the albedo a bit so it reflects a little bit more light let's have it about i don't know 50 or 60 percent light it reflects now let's make it Actually, we'll start with it. Okay, it's mostly gas. We'll add a few more elements in there. Just why not? There we go. Yeah, so this is a grey gas giant. You can definitely see that. It's quite a good colour. I wish the whole thing was grey. Because you can see there's a bit of white on it. But yeah, that is mostly grey. So, that's good. Right, it's got a bit of an orange sort of colour underneath it. But it's very hard to spot. So, it's not a problem. But, right. Okay, let's make it big. We need more mass. 
Let's make it, uh, how big should we make it? Let's make it 2.743 Jupiters. Oh no, so random number, there we go. So quite a large planet here, so looking good. How many radiuses of Jupiter is this? Let's have a look. Jupiter, Jupiter. Okay, it's three Jupiters in size. I'm going to come back to that later. We're going to add some rings around it, I think. So, hmm, what else would... Actually, we can use Pluto's moon Charon in this as well, because, well, it's grey, so we can use that. So, let's have big Charon. I think this is where I made Charon bigger than Pluto from that video. I can't remember, but, yeah, here we go. So, got big Charon orbiting dark. <laughs> Damn, my, my choice of names is brilliant. <laughs> oh, God. Right, what we got next? Anything else? Let's see, I don't really have the most grey planets, but there's definitely some we can use here. And we can definitely build our own as well, so that's good. Kepler 37b, I based this off Charon. This is also, well, this is the smallest exoplanet ever discovered, actually, so. Or the smallest exoplanet I know of, anyway, so we're going to have you here. Oh, it is losing material, though, so let's increase the albedo a bit. Hopefully that fixes it. Come on, stop smoking up. Stop losing material. Dang it. Okay, let's make its orbit slightly further because these stars I'm guessing are quite powerful so yeah there you go but, um then Ebola is actually the more luminous one even though Algol is actually bigger so that's interesting yeah, it's almost like double the size wait or double the luminosity so 4.1 suns of luminosity and this star has 15 so that's all no that's like three times bigger actually okay interesting right it's, yeah they can't have this thing losing mass it's annoying you stopped stop losing mass I think it stopped. Okay, good. Right, it's about 400 degrees here as well. Pretty, pretty hot. I think I changed the elements inside this. Actually, no, I didn't. Let's give it a bit of an iron core just to change it up a bit. All right. Now, let's have a planet close to the star. So, there's two ways we could do this. Hmm. Should we have a binary system? Actually, let's use this planet. I've never used this planet in a video. So I've had this as a custom object for a very long time. It's sort of like a grey. I guess you could describe this as grey. Like, it's sort of a greyish blue colour. If we just put it back to zero degrees. And then just go on um, flashlight mode. You can sort of see it is it's sort of a mixture of green, grey and blue. But it's got grey in it, so I'm counting it. I think that's fine. But anyway, since it's going to be heated up... Oh, heated up a lot by the star we probably won't see the color of it anyway so it's not really too much of a problem so yeah we're going to leave you there we're not going to change the size of it or anything and then we're going to add some random could add some random moons around it oh of course we've got a muska ski <laughs> i never I hate that one god damn it all right um let's actually just have a let's just spam a lot of objects in here i think we've never really done this before oh we've got a fetkery as well nice Right, there we go. Oh, and also, Mimus. That is grey. We can definitely use that. I'm definitely using a Mimus. And we're making a whole planet out of this. <laughs> right, so... Let's have it Let's have it as a very far away object. Let's have it all the way up here. Okay, there we go. So let's have a very, very far away little Mimus. But instead of being little, we're going to try and make it bigger. So, can we make it bigger? Oh, it resets the texture. Ah, that's annoying. Dang it. So we have to have a really, really small Mimus, it looks like. Actually, what's the largest possible size we can make Mimus? Let's have a look. So how large can we make this guy? Can we pull it up to 300 kilometers? Let's have a look. Okay, 300 works. What about 350? Okay, that works. 400 kilometers? Okay, it can still go. About 500? Okay, so 500 doesn't work. If I put it back to 400, is it? No, if we, that just resets it. Dang it, that's annoying. So we can keep it around 400, maybe? Oh, well, orbit that thing. What are you doing? Um, okay, let's get another Mimus, put you there. Okay, so it looks like the largest we can have is about... Actually, let's just try 450. No, that doesn't work either. Damn, that's annoying. Let's go and delete you. Yeah, you can still hear the music in the background. It's very different than usual. I like it. I'm definitely leaving it like this for a bit. It's pretty cool. Right, so... Okay, let's try it. What about... So 400 definitely works, right? Okay, 400. So, yeah, we'll just leave it at 400. So, this is the largest possible Mimus we can pretty much have. Just round it up to the closest 100 here. So, there you go. Look at that. So, we've got, now got a little Mimus out here. Slow, low, really nice and small and cute. <laughs> let's stop its rotation, actually. I wanna... Let's actually... Tie, should I tie, I'm going to tidily lock it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> tidily lock, tidily lock. Where is that? Tidily lock. Oh, there it is. But I want the, I want the crater facing the um, stars. There we go. So we've got little old Mimus here, tidily locked. Very, very far away from the system as well. Wow, you can see a lot of smoke up in this system here. Oh my god, what is going on here? 
Hmm, actually, no, no, I, I want to delete these because I don't want... You see how there's all, like, particles and stuff? I don't want those particles making the simulation slower, so... Yeah, we're going to have to delete these, actually. That's, that was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, that's... The reason I never do it is because it's a bad idea, so we're just going to go ahead and delete these guys. We'll have some from orbs in the planet, though, so... Let's go and um, do that. Delete all of the particles. All right, perfect. And I guess this one out here is not smoking up or anything, so we can just make it grey. We'll leave this one, so... Let's make it all great. So basically, there's no colour at all. We just have to put it all to this side of the spectrum, as you can see here. We just have to have it on grey. So now I've got a grey-looking, very basic-looking object, because grey is quite a common sort of colour for um, planets and or, or rocky objects. So this would be a nice, easy um, system to make. All right, what's going on here? Whoa, there's a lot of crater marks here. Well, I guess that adds to the effect. It's not really a big deal. They'll, they'll disappear when I save the simulation anyway, so... Yeah, look at that. All right. So there, oh, of course, Nustiski survives. This is like my nemesis in the game. This, oh my god. Yeah, if you've seen previous videos, you know what I'm talking about. Like, bit we always get. This is one of the objects that always spawns. We always get one with this name. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. All right. So we're just gonna leave that orb in that. That's fine. All right. Perfect. So I'm, I'm pretty sure a hot Jupiter like this, a planet close to its star, wouldn't have many moons anyway, since they probably would have all disappeared. So. It's quite realistic. Let's have it reflecting barely any light. Let's have it at a really, really hot temperature. So let's have it reflecting only 1% of the light it receives. So that's a very dark planet as well. Alright. Dark. And, oh, there's a the regular dark. Alright. Let's get an Earth-like planet in here. So... Oh, this is going to remind me of the game when, before you could change the colour of the surface of objects. So... Okay, let's go for a whole... Let's just go for a random rocky planet here. And let's go to the Hathful Zone again. I just want to check. Alright. So... We'll have it in the green and blue zone, so we'll have it out here somewhere. Okay, so that we'll have this one here. So we've got a Asinu. A As Asinu, I think that's how you say it. All right. So same with this guy. We're just gonna put all of its color to gray and white, pretty much. So quite a very dull-looking object. Yeah, this this exactly reminds me of what the game was like before you could have this color option change in menu. Like you used to, you used to just get weird colored objects like this, and then. The, bet the closest to Earth-like you could have them was literally just a bit of blue on them, which was the water. So, let's give it an atmosphere of just... Let's just go with one Earth, just to be safe. So, we've got a nice blue atmosphere now. We can't even get grey-coloured atmospheres, so no one mentioned that. <laughs> right, so how hot is the temperature here? Okay, it's going into the positive degrees. That is what I like to see. Okay, let's have some of the surface visible, and there you go. So, we just have to wait for it to warm up a little bit more. And there you go. Yeah, that, that definitely looks like what my objects used to look like before I could properly change the colour of them, so we've got quite a interesting greyish sort of colour here, but let's um, move a bit more of the water, so more of a barren sort of stone sort of world, isn't it? Stone and water, so in theory, since there's no plants here, would there be oxygen? Because I believe yeah, plants make oxygen, don't they? Is it photosynthesis? I'm not really smart with all that biology stuff. Like I said before, I like, I like astronomy and stuff, I, I don't know about plants and stuff. I'm not really very smart on like atmospheres and stuff like that. I just know the sort of basic, or well, the atmosphere pressure and stuff. I don't know what they're really made of. I'm, yeah, I'm not smart in that department. <laughs> but yeah, so would life would life work here without plants? I don't, like I'm pretty sure it wouldn't. It's, you can see it's got a life likelihood, but there isn't or it, in, in real life, if there's no plants, would it work? It's just a stone planet, pretty much just completely made of stone and rock with an iron core, and then it has water on it with an atmosphere. But is, would the atmosphere be breathable without plants? Like, I don't think it would. Yeah, someone please correct me if I'm wrong, because I would like to know the answer to that. So, there's that. Now let's have a Keron as the moon. So let's put that there, and I want to colonise that as well. So, yeah, this is definitely a grey colour, so this works. Now we're going to make you... So this is 5,000 in size. Let's make it a little bigger. Let's have it, let's have it at the mass of two Earths. Let's make sure you orbit again. Okay, let's have this at the mass of 0 0.5 Earths. I think that I think that's reasonable. So let's do 0 0.5 like that. Oh, that is very large though. Wow, it's almost the same size. What is going on here? Okay, will it even orbit it? Does it? Oh, it does. Even though they're the same size. Well, they're oh no, whoops. Okay, let that. Oh, now they're in a binary orbit. No, I don't want a binary orbit. Nope, stop. Stop running away. Get closer. Stop with the binary orbit. We had it perfect a minute ago. What have I done? God damn it. Okay, let's quickly put it on the same sort of level as it again. Do that again. Okay, I guess we can't have it as half an Earth in mass. We have to lower it even more. So, okay, let's do 0 0.2 Earths. 
make it a little smaller. Still very, um, can I do the density? Ah, okay, let's lower the density. No, increase the density, I should say. That makes it smaller. So that's a two, maybe? Yeah, that, that helps. How dense is this, then? Oh, this has got a density of six. So, if we make this a density of four, that should make it a little smaller. Actually, let's give it about the same density. Let's just have it as six. Okay, so now you can see it smaller. So, now hopefully this should orbit. No problem. There we go. That's what I wanted. Thank you, game. That's all I wanted from you. Okay, all right. Hang on. What's going on over here? Why are you smoking up? Stop. Oh my god, there's a lot of material flying around here. Use, are you still losing material? Is it good now? Stop. Increase the albedo a bit. There we go. Alright. I think that's fine. Alright, let's go back to um, Asinu here. So it's getting a bit of tidal power on it as well. Oh, is it getting too cold? Okay, we need to lower the albedo a bit. And then also increase the surface pressure a bit. There we go. So that should warm up. Alright, Keron, let's do a view. So let's also give you an atmosphere... We'll give it about, I don't know, 0 0.75 ATM. That should work, hopefully. We'll also start to fill it up with some water. There we go. Oh, wow. This is quite weird when you add water to this object. So, okay, there we go. Now let's reset the temperature to zero. Hopefully it will warm up. All right, perfect. Oh, it does look very weird, Caron, with water on it. Like, it's like, sort of like weird how the water works. But, yeah, there you go. And let's also make it so it, let's just give it a 24-hour orbit. Or 24-hour rotation period. Wait, where is it? Motion... I can never find the setting. Here it is. Rotational period. Let's just have it as one day. So 24 hours. And with you as well, we'll make you, since it's a slightly larger planet, we'll have it at, let's have it at 0. Point, let's have it at 0. 0.9 days. So it spins slightly faster than this one. But yeah, there we go. Or we could tidally lock it, actually. If we tidally lock, there you go. So it still turns, but the same side is always facing the planet. So it's sort of like our moon then. But it does still, all, the whole planet does still receive sunlight. Or, or the moon, I should say. So... That's looking good. So, very, very grey and boring, I have to say, for this. Like, they're not really the most colourful object in the world, but I guess it looks good. Then we've got this guy over here. We'll add a bit more water to you, actually. There you go. Well, actually, where is the water? Oh, it's all on this side. Okay, that, okay, does that look good? Let's just remove the clouds and stuff so we can actually see, so... Okay, there it is. Right. Music's not really... If you've been listening to the music, I've been listening to it slightly. It hasn't really done anything insane. Is it the settings still on? Yeah, it is. What if I change the track? If I put it back to the original. This is where it sounds the most different. I like I like that song. Or well, that tune. I think it's the best one in the game. But yeah, there we go. So that's looking good. Right, cool. I really, I actually do really like how that way these two objects turned out. So you can see this hasn't got the most water on it from this side. But the other side's pretty much like, this is like the main ocean here. And then got another big ocean there with a big, with a big island. Look at that island there. That's quite large. But yeah, there we go. So that's looking good. Right, what have we got next? We could try an Enceladus. But is this more white than grey, though? Hmm, let's have a look. Let's put you over here. What colour are you? Is it more of a white colour, this? Or could that pass for grey? I guess that could pass for grey. But it has got bits of blue on it. Hmm, I don't know. Could we have water to it? Oh, that doesn't do anything. I guess we'll just leave that the way it is, then. Just leave it as a lone object. So you can't really do much with these little ones, so there's that. Because uh, I think we've got enough around our goal here. Now let's head back to this guy. So Denebola, or De Denebola, I can never pronounce these. I'm so sorry if I'm saying this wrong, but <laughs> there's that. All right, let's get another dark, actually. I want to have more dark gas giants, because we don't have many gas giants here. So let's have one, let's have one super, super close, even closer than the one around the other stars. So let's have it there. That's going to get in melted pretty quick. Let's have another one over here. Then we will have a second Earth-like planet. So I want to use the lunar moon. So if you saw the video where I added a moon to the moon and colonised it, this is that object. So we're going to have that in here as well. Get some use out of it. It's nice to bring back old objects from old videos. So, oh, okay. Wow, well. This guy just got torn up by the star. R rest in peace. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my. Wow. It just Yeah, that, that's gone. That, that's just gone. R just destroyed. <laughs> well, that's uh, too close. Okay, we have a little... Maybe a little further away then. Let's go to it again. Dark. About there. Does that work? Or are you going to lose material as well? Okay, I think that works. And then let's also make its mass bigger. So let's have it at... Let's make it the largest planet in the system. So let's have it about a mass of 10 Jupiters. Let's make this thing massive. So it's sort of like a brown dwarf star almost. But it's orbiting the star. So it hasn't mucked up the orbits at all. Alright, perfect. You can see that it's quite a unique system this as well. Right, so there we go. So there's the dark. But it's very, very bright, actually. Oh, wow, it just got smaller. 
Oh, is it losing mass? Okay, it is losing mass. Okay, we're going to have to put you a little further out then. Don't get torn up, please. Alright, how much mass did it lose? It lost... Okay, it lost 0.1% of, of the mass of Jupiter. So, in Earths, so that it probably lost a few... Um, a few thousand Earths. Or not, not thousand, maybe a few hundred Earths, maybe. How, no, no, actually, no. It wouldn't, probably less than a hundred, but it probably would have lost about more than ten Earths in mass. So, if that was Earth, Earth would have been instantly gone. So, yeah, poor Earth, but... Yeah, so this guy should be doing good now, and there's no way of adding moon to that, because it wouldn't work. Realistically, it wouldn't work, so we're going to leave that there. Right, now we've got the lunar moon, so... Well, this guy's a little too green for my liking, we've got to have to put that to great. And there you go, already done. <laughs> so, let's um, lower the albedo, increase the surface pressure a bit, hopefully it'll start to warm up in temperature, so... Okay, that's, this has got a very low ATM, actually, because remember... This moon had to be very small since it was orbed in our moon, which was orbed in Earth. So, yeah. Okay, now that's too hot. No, cool down, cool down. Too hot. Whoa. Okay, yeah, we definitely increased that too much. 0 0.2 ATM. Cool down, please. Okay, let's put you back to 0 degrees. Okay, there we go. Hopefully that'll work. Yes, yeah, so this is all greyed out, and we don't need to change anything else. It's quite a small object, this as well. So this probably wouldn't have any moons. But we could add a little... Let's see, look, we can't add a small moon. We could add an asteroid around it. Actually, let's have a Mimus. Maybe we could have another Mimus. Oh, no, even Mimus is too big. Um, let's use Phobos or Demos. Maybe make one of these guys a little bigger. So, that's let's make this thing about, I don't know, 80 kilometers in size. It's quite large, actually, because if you didn't know, Phobos and Demos... Oh, what, what the heck? Yeah, Phobos and Demos here. They actually have custom textures, but for some reason they're round, even though in real life they're going to be asteroid shaped. So I don't know what's up with these, but... Okay, well it looks like we have to use Phobos, because um, this is the more grey looking coloured one. So let's have you about 70. Now hopefully that will orbit that. Okay, is it going to work? Okay, perfect. There we go. Oh, stop. No, don't run away. Where are you going? <laughs> Alright, there we go. So now we've got Phobos. Looking good. Don't never use the Mar moons of Mars, and we'll tidily lock you as well. So there we go. So it's tidily locked around the lunar moon now. Looking good. Yes, I never use this. I don't really have a look at these. It's quite a unique looking object, I guess. It's not the most textured in the world, so that's pretty cool. All right. So there we are. That's looking good. Wait. So one of them's losing mass. What's going on here? Oh, it's from the lunar moon. Dang it. Okay, we may have to make it a little bigger then. Okay, let's put you up to 1,000 kilometers and then have you orbiting like that. Okay, does that work? Let's put in back all of the mass. It's getting cold. Okay, we need to... I'm scared that's going to get torn apart by Rouge Limit, so... Let's quickly make you a little further out, like that, and auto-orbit again, just to fix it up. Let's also increase the surface pressure on here, like that. Oh, wow, that surface pressure really did go down, all right. So, looking good, I think. All right. Hopefully that'll work. So that should warm up, and we'll head back to you later. So that's looking good. So let's look at the lineup so far, because I'm pretty sure we're nearing the end of this episode, since we've added a decent amount, and I don't really see us needing to add much more in here. So it's looking good. So we've got... Okay, we've got a nice bunch of objects. All grey-coloured as well. We've got One of them's colonised, but it's mostly grey. It's just the water on it is changing the colour a bit. So it's looking good. Then we've got the tiny little lunar moon here. So this thing is tiny. Look at it. Only a thousand kilometers. Then we've got another dark here. Um, then we've got Enceladus. And then we've got Phobos there. So we've got a slightly larger Mimus than usual. Let's go and check up on you. So there you go. There's little old Mimus. Good. I like Mimus. Nice little moon. All right. So there we are. Actually, we can't even add a gas another gas giant around this star. So let's go back. Actually, no. Let's add the moon in. What am I doing? Let's add the moon. The moon is grey, isn't it? Let's have this guy huge. Let's have a. Let's like have like a big rock moon. Actually, speaking of big rock, we can add that in as well. If you don't know what that is, we'll get to it very shortly. But let's have it at 200 Earths. Let's make it quite a very very large rocky planet here. But yeah, there's the moon. And do I want to colonize it? No, no, I want to leave it the way it is. I think the moon looks good the way it is. So there's the moon. Let's also have you. Let's still make it turn in one 24 hour day, so it still does spin. Right now. Here is what I meant by Big Rock. So if you've never seen my channel before, then obviously welcome. But Big Rock is a very, very large, rocky planet. So we're going to get to you now. So where's, where's Big Rock? Big Rock? Where is it? Am I, am I blind? Oh, there it is. All right, so here is Big Rock. This thing is absolutely massive. This is like 
larger than some of... Or actually, we can compare it to the largest exoplanet, actually. So if I get the largest exoplanet here, it's almost as large as the largest planet ever discovered. Now, this is obviously a custom object. I, this isn't a real planet. I don't, I don't even think you can get a rocky planet this large, but yeah, th here it is in the game. So it's already colonized and stuff, but we're going to go and sadly have to change all its colors to gray. So like that. And that's all dull. And there you go. Done. So, we always give it custom names. We're going to call it Grey Big Rock. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm awful with names. I'm sorry. But yeah, that, I think that works. So, let's also lower the water on it. So, it's quite a rocky object as well. Now, the temperature. We're going to have to increase the out or increase the surface pressure here to 1. Eight. Was that work? 1. Okay, now I have to go a little more than that. 5. Okay, there we go. That works. So, warming up and looking good. So... I think that is hopefully our solar system then. Is that looking good? I want to make sure all the objects are custom. Okay, this one isn't custom yet, so... We're going to go and make you... Let's give it 0.5 masses of Jupiter. So not too large. Then we're going to put Kepler-37b around it. We're also going to put... Hmm, what else can we use? If we use the Westeros Earth, I guess we could use that. And then... I think that's from Game of Thrones or something. I don't know, so I've never seen it. But I think that's from that. And then, I guess Umbriel, Moon of Uranus, we can use. And then Triton, we can change the colour of that as well. And, yeah, that looks looking good. So, Kepler-37b, what are you doing? Okay, so... Oh, no, no go back. Alright, let's make it slightly larger. So, let's give it... Let's give it one mass of Earth. Or two masses of Earth, that works. Make it auto-orbit around dark. Alright, there we go. Now we've got this weird Westeros Earth. I don't even know... But it's sort of a greyish colour, I guess, so that works. Let's make it look a little weird. Let's put it upside down or something. I, I don't know. There you go. That totally isn't Earth. And then we've also got Umbriel. So this is the moon of Uranus. Whoa, what the heck? Where am I going? What is happening here? So there's our lineup of objects. So here's goes to Umbriel here. Well, I've had this custom object for a long time as well. I need to update it. This never used to be yellow. So let's go and change that. And then make it a very dark sort of um, object there. So there you go. That's Umbriel done. And then the last moon of this planet, or, th or this dark, is Triton. So we're going to go ahead and do the same to you and dark it out. And I think that looks good. I guess we can make it really dark. Oh, no, that's too black, actually. We need to have a little more grey. And there you go. Grey. So quite a generic-looking object compared to a lot of the other ones in the simulation here. So there's Big Rock. Look how big that thing is. All right, so then we've got some hotter or hotter objects. Got all of these guys. Yeah, they're all great. So they all pass, and then, yep, yeah, that is this. Oh no, the Lunar Moon is at forty degrees now. Wow. Okay. Is there any? Where's the water gone? Is it still got water? Oh, the water's gone. Oh, okay, that's why. Let me go and fix that quick. Can't have that happening. So, let's go back to the Lunar Moon here, and guess we're gonna have to make you slightly bigger. So, let's give you. Let's just go with one Earth. And then, oh, Phobos, we're gonna have to move you out a bit. So, wait, go to go to it. Let's go inside. Oh wow, we're inside the we're inside the Lunar Moon. Look at this. It's pretty cool. Alright, so there we go. No, come out. There we go. That's what I want to do. So let's go and head and pick you over here. Like that. And there we go. So that should have fixed all that. Now we're going to have to quickly go to the atmosphere options and quickly fix it up. So, it's, yeah, when you make an object bigger, the surface pressure changes. So let's put it to zero degrees. And now it's warming up. So hopefully it doesn't get too hot. So let's put it to 50 degrees. And if it heats up, then it's bad. But if it cools down, that's fine. Okay, so... Okay, that's looking good. So we'll leave it like that. Okay, let's just reset it to 20 degrees. All right, and now we should start to see the good old water appear. So here we go. Any second now. So we've got an ocean well. Then let's just keep lowering the water so we see the good old surface, like so. So let's quickly do that. Uh, uh, wait, did I get rid of it all? No, I didn't, did I? Okay, there we go. So that works. And then we've got a little Phobos around it. So looking good. Uh, I like that. Okay, that's looking good. So we've got that's all done. So if we go back to the big list of objects here, let's go back down to you. So, right, that's all checked out, and there we go. So we've got this object as well, this Nuskaski. Let's, let's decrease the albedo so it heats up a little more. We don't have a hot, rocky planet, really. We've only got two hot gas giants, and we've got this one guy here. But that, there we go, that fixes it. Let's also make it a little larger in size, just so it's slightly different from the other objects of its um, class, almost. And it's looking a little similar to this one, so let's make it a gas giant, and then quickly change the surface texture. Then that looks different. So, looking good. So, let's go to you in the simulation as well. So, you're still orbiting this guy. Yeah, that's right. Let's make your orbit a little further out. Oh, 
and there we go looking good so there we are so this guy is heating up as well right now let's get on to the last part of the episode where we add the ring systems in so i definitely want to go to the original dark so where's that one dark 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 um is it this one is it this one here no that's not it um where's the original one um dark 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 that one there it is that's the original one so let's go back to you now i want to give you the rings of jupiter oh, what the heck come on let's go back Ah, right, there we go so there is dark now we're going to add rings and we're going to get the rings of jupiter then we're going to go to let's go to radius so let's make it two radius two four radius i think that works so let's add the ring and uh, that's the rings of jupiter oh, oh um dang it um where was that in kilometers outer radius four moons kilometers Okay, 4.0, I don't actually know what that means. Add ring. Okay, so that's looking good. Okay, so we're going to have to increase the inner radius a bit. To, like that, does that work? Oh, wow, they're really big. Oh, this, this, this outer radius needs to be increased. Okay, let's put it up to 400,000, like that, maybe, does that work? Ah, there we go. So, now let's make this 450,000. I want to have a small little ring around it, so delete, delete all the... Particles delete. There we go. Now we add the ring again. That's what I want. So now we've got, yeah, ring of Jupiter. There you go. So custom made. Looking good. So I like that. That's not plain and simple is the way I'll put that. So that's looking good. Then we've got big Keron orbiting around um, the dark here. So that's looking good. Right. And the rings are already a grey colour. So we don't need to change them. So yeah, the default colour works. All right. And then Denebola here. Let's give you an asteroid belt. Let's go with the default sort of size here. See how far out is dark? So this is 1.32 AU away. So let's make sure we add an asteroid belt and let's have it end before. So let's end, make it end at 1 AU. And then let's have it start at. Let's have it start. Well, nah, what would we start at? Let's start at 0 0.1 AU. So like that. There we go. So we've got another asteroid belt there, orbiting Denebola. So it's sort of a greyish colour as well. So that's looking good. Sort of more. I guess they're more brown actually, but actually, yeah, that's, like that that works. That's fine. And then over here, because if I delete these rings, I've got to delete the rings around dark as well. So I don't want to do that. I can always come back to it another time. And then this one over here, we'll go and add a new set of rings. So what if I just add the default asteroid belt in around this? There we go. Looking good. And then we've got, let's give little Mimus a set of rings. Let's give, let's, give, let's give this guy some love. So let's go to you. And let's just do that. There we go, little Mimus has got some rings. There we go. Oh, it's so cute and so small. So there we go, Mimus. Looking good with its rings there. I like that. So there we go, guys. That is the grey solar system there. So we've got two white stars and then all the objects are grey, as you can see here. So here's our final lineup. So, oh, the rings around that look really good, I think. I do like how small Jupiter's rings are. They do look a lot different than the rings of Saturn would. So there we go. There is our grey solar system. So looking good. So actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's go and save this bad boy. So let's just call it um, grey system like that. Oops. So grey system... So there we go, and voila! So yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. Make sure if you did, hit that like button, subscribe for more, and um, help us on the journey to 1,400 subscribers. Now let's see if we can get it before halfway through the next month, so that's November, because that would be awesome. But yeah, there we go. So if you've got any ideas for another video or any other colour ideas for um, this series, because right now this could be the last episode, because I don't really know, but I reckon we can get maybe another episode, another episode or two out of it. So yeah, tell me what colours you want, and I'll see if they're good enough for because some colors they may too, be too similar to ones i've already done because i saw someone say gold but i've done yellow and orange like i can't really there isn't really an option for gold you can't really make things a shiny sort of yellow color so i can't really do gold unless it's a mix of yellow and orange but it'd be too similar to what i've already done so i don't really think it's worth making a video on but if there's any other colors i could do like dark red or really really dark blue maybe we could, that we could get something there to work but yeah for now this could be the last episode but I reckon we could get another one out. So, yeah, there we go. So, hopefully you guys um, have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.